not the game the Boston Celtics wanted, what? But it's the game that they got. They lost 122 to 84. And don't be uh don't be twisted by this score here. The starters were taken out with three minutes left in the third quarter. It was a blowout from the first quarter. And it's tough, man. You don't want the Celtics to do that because you just saw them win three games that they absolutely earned. They're the better team. They've been the better team. And I still do believe that. But I guess the Boston Celtics just wanted to extend it just a little bit more. I want to make this point here. Before everybody starts talking in my comment section, there's only been nine teams in NBA history that have swept in the finals. It's very hard to do. So now the Celtics will take it back home in game five. And let me tell you, I know for a fact the Celtics are not going to let this. Not going to let this reflect their series. They've played phenomenal in three games. They played extremely bad in game four. And you got to move on. But we're going to talk about game four here on this post-game show. But first and foremost, go on ahead and hit that sub button for me because we will be live for game five. If it takes game six, we'll be live for game six. If it takes game seven... We'll be live for that one, too. And I want you guys to be a part of this journey. It sucks we lost tonight. It really does. But what are you going to do? We're not those players. We can't be out there on that court. So we're going to talk about it. We'll move on to game five. How about that? All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. The only person to actually show up tonight was Jason Tatum. And even still, 15 points, five boards, and three assists. The shots weren't falling tonight, man. The shots weren't falling, and it was a lackluster effort on defense. When you mix those two together, guess what? You get 122 to 84. It was an all-around a poop effort. It was a poop effort. I mean, yeah, I, there's really nothing to say specifically no. about each individual player. So we'll kind of just rotate through here as uh, the Celtics didn't give an effort tonight. The, the no, effort they, level was no. on zero. That We saw a Mavericks team that was desperate. We saw a Mavericks team that was hungry, and they were playing inspired down 3-0. It feels like momentum has shifted back in their favor, but at the end of the day, this win only does count as one. You have to take that into account. Yeah, but true. the Jays the Jays didn't show up tonight. I mean, Tatum shot 40% yeah. once again. It, three ball wasn't falling after his second one went in. And, and Jalen Brown obviously didn't show up as well. Three of 12 from the field. It, it, the, the stat, stat lines are almost identical. Guy, like, if you look at the Jays' stat lines and you look at the backcourt duo st stat lines, yeah. they, they're, they're the exact same. And, and it's not like... The the box score reflects the effort level that the Celtics gave tonight. It, it, was it does. I've, absolutely never, I've never seen a box score like this from the Jays. I've never seen a box score like this from any of the Boston Celtics. I mean, it was a catastrophic, just absolutely blow up. It was disgusting. Yeah. It was a it was a horrible effort. I, mean, I think Smitty and I gave more of an effort tonight on our watch party than we did I for the Boston agree. Celtics on that game. It was hard to watch, man. It's very hard to watch because you know what the Celtics are capable of. This shit. This shit is so, not what they're capable one of. The, of. It's one of the worst games Dark yeah. White has ever played. Drew the, Holiday the wasn't. Celtics. Drew Holiday wasn't playing good defense. No. Um, I mean, when your when your second leading scorer is Sam Hauser in a finals game, and he's only got 14, by the way, that's a problem. That's yeah. a genuine problem. And and Sam Hauser played a lot of minutes tonight. But I, I guess we could talk more about what the, what the Mavericks were able to do in this one. And yeah. Luka Doncic, yeah, he didn't he didn't shoot uber efficiently. He actually didn't even hit a three ball in this three, game. Yeah. But 29 points, he, he, only had five, he only had five free throws then, so he was able to get whatever yeah. he wanted. It the was basically away. a whoever offense or whoever defense, I guess, for Luka Doncic. It didn't matter who was guarding him. And the Mavericks got a ton of squishes. They kept running double screens, which would allow Boston's uh, smaller players, their guards, to get switched onto the Mavs' bigs. That would allow for easy offensive rebounds, kickouts. It didn't matter. The Mavs completely dominated every facet of this basketball game. And it's kind of tough because, like, it's so weird to say that knowing that this isn't even Luka's best box score, 29-5-5. Five, and five. It's actually the worst box score he's had of the NBA Finals here in terms of rebounds and assists and all-around shooting. So it's very tough. And, you know, obviously he didn't play the fourth quarter and, and the rest of the third quarter here. But uh, it's, it's just tough because you, you know that Luka and Kyrie are really the only ones you have to worry about. And then they actually finally started putting other players in the rotation and the Celtics didn't have an answer. But – the thing is, with this Luke and Kyrie, I don't know if you just saw, Luka goes 0 for 8, Kyrie goes 1, 1 for 6. You get 1 of 14 from 3 from Luka and Kyrie, and somehow you lose this game by four, 38 points. That tells you how little the effort was there tonight. Yep, they were getting whatever they wanted whatever they in the paint. Wanted. Kyrie was, people weren't put, putting a body on, on perimeter yeah, players, crashing care. the glass. Kyrie was getting offensive rebounds. Speaking of offensive rebounds, Derek Lively, shout out his Duke picture, screw him. Um, he had seven offensive rebounds in this game, just generating so many extra possessions for Dallas. It was brutal. The effort level was there for, for the Mavs, and it wasn't there one bit for Boston. I am, yeah. I am disgusted with what I've seen when they were able to close out uh, this NBA Finals. They didn't show up one bit. 
No, absolutely not. I mean, there's there, there's zero excuse. It's hard for us to even make this post game because there is no, no positive. There is zero positive take Dante from game four. X, Dante X met double digits. I mean, it's just a lackluster performance in the Boston Celtics. And you know what? I do have the utmost faith in the Celtics that they will not allow this to happen again. They won't. And if they do, they weren't they weren't the team that I thought they were. They weren't. And so I know Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown probably aren't going to sleep well tonight. And they shouldn't. They did nothing. They did nothing. You thought Tatum showed up in the first quarter, but and then, uh, uh, that, nothing then happened in the second. No, nothing, nothing happens in the second quarter. No, he, had 11, he, had, he had 11 at the end of the first quarter. So he had, like, he had, four, he had 15 Al, Hor Al Horford total. didn't give you much tonight. He, he only took one shot. Nothing, man. Um, one shot. You won't win you the NBA Finals, man. And Jalen Brown, who is, has nah. been enlisted in the, with the trust of this basketball team, yeah. Just from the get go, you just saw that Jalen Brown was not comfortable tonight, and and, and yeah. you, you get a result like this because of it. So it's very tough. But now the Boston Celtics have uh, one thing they want to answer: is how bad do you want it? And uh, they will win in Game Five. And you can crop this, you can cut it, we can do whatever you want. But I do not believe the Mavericks will ever play like that against the Boston Celtics again. I think it is one of those unfortunate circumstances of the game of basketball. So sometimes the other team is hot. Sometimes it's just the way it happens, and it is very tough because I do think the Celtics' defense, if they actually gave a shit tonight, then they actually would have been able to stop that offense, but they didn't care. Their turnovers, disgusting. Aside their from attempts, effort. Their attempts on offensive rebounds, disgusting. It just it, their, their effort was disgusting. That's it. My one-word reaction to this game was disgusting. Mine? It was a disaster. disaster. It was a total disaster. What do you guys think went wrong for the Celtics in Game 4? Oh, God. Should I pull out the parliament? And should we just talk about how many things went wrong tonight? The defense. The effort. The turnovers. The missed threes. The also, also, the going to the three ball so early in the ball game with not open shots. they just completely diminishing the fact they ever decided to drive to the basket once before in this series. It's bad game. Everything. Everything went wrong for the Celtics in Game 4. Got to turn it up in game five. Hey, there's a reason why you have a three and one lead. You got one more, baby. It's still one more to go. That's it. And should we even bring up the team stats here? I mean, I mean it's Mavs, Mavs shot great from the field. Mavs, Mavs had yeah. their best game. They had their best game. It was about time so they showed up. My goodness. Oh. I've been hearing all about how the Western Conference is so big and bad, oh. and they went down three games. Yeah. They I, finally showed up. I moved these stats over right, right before the, the Mavs made their last basket, but regardless, it, it, it doesn't matter. Like You, you don't have to you look at the, the full point. games. You get the point. The Celtics, I mean, the worst shooting night the Celtics have had all season long. All season. Regular, 82 games of the regular season. 20 games of the postseason. 36% was their worst, and they ended yeah. up topping that tonight. With a 34%. So it, it kind of works out because the, Bo the Boston Celtics had their worst game that I have probably seen in eight months. And the Dallas Mavericks had their best game that I've seen the entire final. So yeah. if they can come out and play exactly the same way the Mavericks can in game five, then shit. They deserve to be here. They deserve to be here a lot more than I thought they did through the first three games. But if the Celtics come out and play the way they did in the first three games, then guess what? We're never going to talk about game four performance. Because the only the thing that's going to matter is when they hoist the Larry O'Brien Trophy. I mean, Nobody will care about the game four performance. They only made, Nobody will care. They only care. made 26 shots in this game. That's absolutely horrific. Took, yeah, it's just... I mean, look I, at the again, rebounds, these, the, yeah, these, yeah, these shots also Look at the also rebounds. They finally beat us in the assist category. That hasn't happened yet. That has not happened yet, but a 27-plus rebound disparity. Again, these stats are not from the final score. I moved them over before the game even ended because who cares about Jaden Springer minutes in the last four <laughs> minutes of this ballgame? Who gives a shit, to be honest? Honest. Yeah, it's, this is a total uh, disaster. You, you, you could have probably just taken the stats from three minutes out of the uh, of the end of the third quarter, and it would have been pretty much the same exact thing. The Mavs actually got fairly hot uh, down the stretch. Marquise yeah. Morris, Tim Hardaway Jr. hit a Dante Exum hitting some threes. It was they, the Mavs bench. It was even raining down from distance down the stretch of this ball game when the, you had Jaden Springer and Nemius Kata in the goddamn game. So it, it, yeah. it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you chalk this up, and, and it's it's. This one's done. I, I think Tatum. You saw Tatum with a smirk there on the bench, kind of hey, hoping. Mama mentality, baby. Looking for revenge in a game in a, in a game five at home on Monday. You just got to be better. You just can't let that happen again because the momentum's in the Mavericks' favor right now. Yeah. The momentum is in the Mavericks' favor. They think yeah, they think they four. fully believe that they can rattle off four straight and win this series and make NBA history. So at the end of the day, you you have to yeah. you have to eliminate all doubt 
and, and come out on Monday, that first quarter has to be a punch in the mouth by the Boston Celtics. You also got to think, though, the Mavericks had everything to lose in Game 4. They had everything to lose because guess what? Nothing changes the Celtics. It's still one more to go. Yep. It's still one more. It's still, it's one, still more. one more 48-minute game to go. That's it. So the Mavericks, they needed this game. They yeah. did. And you know what? I am about time. It's about time they showed up. Yeah. Welcome to the finals of Dallas Mavericks. We've been waiting for you, baby. It got lonely being up 3-0. and And now, guess what? You got to go back to Boston. Good luck winning in Boston. So with that being said, they had a lot more to lose tonight. Celtics didn't. That was a horrible performance by Boston Celtics. If I ever see it again, the Mavericks deserve to be in this finals with us. What does Boston need to do to win game five? Everything. You got to do everything. Starts with effort. Go on ahead and comment that down below. While I'm at it, go on ahead and hit that sub button for me. Hey, we'll be live for game five on Monday. I want you guys to be there with us. Go on ahead and follow us here on Celtics Today by Chat Sports. And as always, go Boston Celtics one more.